Hello, my name is Paolo and I'm a head of research and innovation unit of EMMA. In this short video, I will take a few of your minutes to go over what our unit stands for and um, what is the plan for future for us. Not surprisingly, research and innovation comprises of two pillars, research and innovation. What is research within EMMA? It can mean different things for different people. We can be talking about research in general, how to do, conduct research in academia. We can be discussing the ways to improve rather than smooth those programs. And we can also be researching in general the ways to make our world a better place. If you are a member of EMMA and also watching this video, quite likely you are an innovative person and like to think outside of the box. So this unit may be helpful for you as well. To accommodate for research and innovation within EMMA, we have defined a few concrete objectives. First of all, we are trying to steer EMMA forward, taking into account its research and scientific goals. We focus on identifying adequate directions and opportunities. We develop necessary strategic actions for EMMA for successful project implementation. We also link expertise across different programs and initiate close interaction with other alumni associations. Also, we review research activities of current programs and aim to strengthen the research activities of students. We also consider and review different programs and spread information about different funding schemes with uh, members of EMMA and also pass them on to the project support unit. And uh, to, to accommodate those objectives, we have defined three concrete pillars of our uh, actions. First of all, we promote of the, uh, the EMMA's research brand. Then we connect members involved in research and also we support EMMA projects connected to research. The exact projects and focus are still be defined since we are one of the youngest teams of EMMA. Now to go a bit into detail of each of these pillars. How do we promote the EMMA's uh, research brand? First of all, we are now gathering success stories in research with a focus of international research mobility. Uh, look for a call soon and we will share stories with Emma and beyond of the successes of our members. We also discussing to conduct a poster session during Emma GA and uh, this, uh, planning to publish the book Fab Strikes. We should encourage members to join the GA and also we should help them to promote and uh, get feedback on their ideas. Given the situation in the world today, quite a few of us are sitting at home and it makes sense to create a platform which will help us to uh, spread our ideas and get some feedback on them. That's why we are discussing now to conduct a series of webinars. Also, in collaboration with Outreach and Capacity Building Unit, we are talking about making a podcast where we'll feature research and innovation ideas and projects of our members. How do we connect members involved in research? So we gather information on previous scholarships in Europe, as many of our members end up in academia after graduation, but almost nobody has official information on how to survive in such a world. We organize events similar to researchers meet innovators conference in Kiev, which happened last year in collaboration with MCAA and also ESSA. We build a platform to collect projects of EMMA members and promote collaboration. It's all about collaboration. <laughs> and also how do we support EMMA projects connected to research? So we consult in the members to prepare proposals for funding. We train on proposals uh, on how to write proposals and how to uh, survive within the academic uh, world. We represent EMMA during relevant events such as ESOF and MCA GA. And of course, a few words about the team. So we are a relatively small but motivated team of uh, people. On purpose, I suggested to have a flat hierarchy and uh, more or less no structure in the team because we are all volunteers and this way, I think, when people can jump into projects and when can they do what they actually want to do at the moment, um, at any given moment, I think it promotes work and collaboration quite a bit. If you like four or five pages on emails, maybe we're not a good team for you, but if you like to do and Instead of talk, and if you like to keep things going fast, then you may join us, and you can email me in the uh, through the email uh, shown on the slide. Thank you very much.